Well, good morning and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. This is the 11th of April, and this is Dottie's little litter of miniature Schnauzer puppies. These guys are having a blast. We just brought them outside, and they're going to be out here for most of the afternoon. Um, we brought out their little box that they can sleep in if they get chilly in the breeze, because it's supposed to be, I think, 80 here today. And uh, so once the weather warms up and the breeze quits a little bit, it'll be great out here. But it also gives them some place to run in and out of and play. And these guys are doing phenomenal. Uh, the little black one had its hair cut today. It just got up on top of the bed. This is the first day they've had a Corunda bed. Um, I love these beds. I don't sell them. I have a lot of people ask me about them. I should be a salesman for the company, I think. Uh, they're available online. I bought mine on, I ac actually looked up the company online and then called the company and we ordered about 15 of these. Um, they have a wonderful, wonderful guarantee with them. And I can tell you we've used them for over three years. My adult dogs dig on them. They can't chew them. They get up there and dig to China. It doesn't even scratch them. Uh, they're aluminum. You can wash them. You can power wash them. I love these beds. And they come in different sizes. So there, that's my ad for them. Um, anyway, the uh, box that they, you see out here is what we, we box train in when they came in. Um, so that's become their security blanket. They never cry for mom. And the longer they're in it, the bigger the hole gets. So that's been in their 5 by 10 kennel in the garage um, with us since they've come up away from mom. These guys are doing super good. I'm trying to get this thing to zoom back out. My fingers aren't going to let me right now. There we go. Um, I had Vanessa and I uh, gave them their, their wormer this morning because they're doing uh, a seven-day worming with Safeguard, so they're on that. And we um, went ahead and microchipped them, and we did their weights for you this morning. So I'm going to stay scanned out, and I'm going to go down the weights for you so you know where they're at. 7706, and I'm going to give you only the last four numbers. 7706 is the male, weighs 4 pounds, 5 ounces, and he's got the royal blue collar on. Uh, we'll find him in a little bit, but he's the party over here on the right. Uh, just jumped and turned and ran across the, the grass. Uh, 1786 is a male, has the neon orange collar. He's the black puppy uh, that's pulling the stuffed toy around right now. And he is 5 pounds, 1.5. He's the biggest in the litter. Uh, the female, All Merle, that's my little stinker that I'm working on for no bark. She's my hardest no bark person. She is 3 pounds, 5 ounces, and she is so cute. She looks like a wind-up toy. She's right there in front of us with the toy. Uh, and she has the neon pink collar. 1793 is a male. Has the yellow collar on. It's right there chewing on a stick. Whoop, it just got T-boned by the black puppy. And so the yellow collar puppy is 3 pounds, 10 ounces. 1718 is the tri puppy with the, the uh, turquoise collar. It's laying right there in front of us. And he is 4 pounds, 2 ounces. The 1797 is the puppy with the red collar, the little female. She's 3 pounds, 8.5. Whoop, they just knocked her down. She says, help, I can't get up. And mine that's out here that's still all fuzzy that I did not cut the hair on, which is right there. She's got a neon green. She weighs 4 pounds, 11 ounces. So that gives you the weights on everybody. And so now I'm going to try and find some collars for you. There's the royal blue collar pup playing with a stick. That's mine that's crying right there next to that one. She's being noisy. Uh, turquoise collar puppy is right there with the, the rope knot toy. Uh, who else? The little red female is on the blue bunny, and she's eating something. The orange collar puppy is right there. Oh, they're eating grass. That's so nice. Uh, the yellow collar puppy is there, and so is the neon pink. They've never had a bed out here before or in their kennel, so this is a, a day they're going to learn that it's lots of fun. It'll give them something to jump up and down on, hide under, um... Luckily, well, unluckily, I guess, somebody will crawl under there and their tail will stick up and the dog on top will get a hold of their tail and then the little pup underneath can't get out. So we here, I only got a stick over here. You can't see this, but the little neon pink girl is on her back. That's her feet flailing on the other side of the... Oh, she got the stick. She was fighting to get the stick. 
and she ended up with it. So she accomplished, ah, the black one's gonna take it away from her. They were all three of them arguing over this stick. Um, these guys have um, done really, really well. Um, by the time they go home, they are going to get their first dose of heart guard. Um, they, oops, oops, don't have a puppy argument. Uh, they've had their first set of shots, and it says may have a low battery, so this may die on us. I hope not. You may end up with a short video, so I apologize if we do. I didn't realize I didn't plug it in last night. Um, so they're not too far from getting ready to go home. I'm going to send everybody out your videos this week. Um, I'll probably try and do that this evening or tomorrow. So you're going to get an email with... Um, a series of videos you're going to get your email on your new vet vitamins so please watch the videos before you come if we're shipping you your puppy you will be able to see everything on those videos that I'm going to tell you if you came and you can just email me or not email me call me or text me with questions but if you've got questions I prefer you just call me I would much rather chat than text um, they're all just doing great. They're on total dry dog food. Uh, they're eating Neutrina. And I'll send everybody home with a big five pound bag of it. If you don't have it in your area, you're fine. I would go out and do some shopping and find out uh, what's in your area. Farm stores are a great place to look, usually a little bit cheaper than a pet store. And you will have plenty of food to give you time to switch it over to whatever you wanna feed. Um, you can just start mixing it, uh, maybe 60% what I have, 40% what you bought, and just slowly work it up to where they go on yours 100%. Um, we are doing probiotics on these guys. Um, what I'll do is I'll text you the name of the company. Well, I'll try to remember to do that. If not, ask me when you come. Um, and I will give you the name of the probiotic company that we use in case you're interested. I love these probiotics. We've seen a huge difference in the puppies in just everything. Uh, general health in the whole nine yards. Stools look great. Um, they're like little Tootsie Rolls. And I like Tootsie Roll poo. <laughs> That's really bad, but when you raise puppies, you're always watching when somebody goes to the bathroom to make sure because that their feces is what you gauge their health by. So, um, I don't know how long my battery's gonna last, but so I'm just gonna keep tape until it dies on me. Maybe we'll make it the whole time. Um, if you are picking up in person and you have a long drive, please bring a small trash bag. I would bring a carrier. If you are uh, hours and hours away and you don't have a carrier, you really can't stop without somebody sitting in the car the puppy's not gonna want you to hold it the whole time, and if it's got a potty or defecate and you can't stop, he will eventually tinkle on your lap, but it's not normal. So if you have a carrier, a plastic carrier, I highly recommend bringing it. If you don't have one, we do have extras here. Um, our small carriers run $25, so if you wanna compare those to your pet stores or whatever, but we do have plenty of carriers in stock. Uh, and they're, they're big enough to last you for quite a while uh, to take the pup back and forth to your vet and things like that. Um, I would bring some, if you have your own crate, bring some newspaper and um, some wet wipes in case you are driving down the road and they can't go to, out to go to the potty. Uh, but once you watch my videos, you're going to be very careful where you stop to go to the potty. So uh, please watch those videos before you come and before we send you your puppy. And then please call me if you have any questions, if you are getting your puppy shipped to you. Also, we're going to send out shipping boxes this week. Please remember, we do give everybody two Schnoodle t-shirts, but I don't have any Schnauzers because I don't raise Schnauzers very often. Um, but if you want a Schnoodle t-shirt, I'll be more than glad to give you a Schnoodle t-shirt. Um, just, you know, shoot me a text and say yes and what size and I'll send you one. Or I do have them that just say Wendy Hill Kennel. Um, I'll be glad to send you that. It has a picture of our weather vane that's on top of my kennel, which is a schnauzer that I had custom made. So we do have some schnauzer t-shirts with Windy Hill Kennel on them. Um, so give me a call on those and I'll be glad to do that for you. Um, 
I have been feeding free choice, so you have plenty of time to decide how you want to handle that. That's also on your videos, so you can listen to that and then uh, you can discuss it a little bit more when you come if you'd like to. Behavior is the biggest thing. Whatever you do not want these puppies to do as an adult, do not let them do it now. Um, I'm pretty strict on them. I do not let them bark in the house. I do teach them to control their barking. And it is easy if you are, uh, what do I want to say, consistent with it and you stick to it. So the best thing to do is set up boundaries and limitations for your puppy. Do not give them the run of your house. Make sure they're confined. Uh, this is actually two and a half puppy pins hooked together out here, if I can back up a little bit. So this is um, makes a huge pay, play area. So if you don't have a fenced-in yard, this is a great way to let your puppy out in the yard and confine your puppy, and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, these are 24-inch. I would not get a 24-inch. You've got to remember this puppy's going to grow. So I would go at least a 30 or a 32 or a 36. And uh, so if you look around and can't find them, we do have them here if you're interested. Uh, you could also, if you're one of these people that feel really guilty and you work all day and you don't want to leave your puppy in the crate, you can put it in one of these and it gives it a four foot square area to play in and, and sleep in and um, potty in during the day while you're gone to work. So uh, that's a, a great way to handle that too if you do work all day. So we can also chat about that. And I don't know, depending on when they go home, if they're still here. Oh, this little red girl says, I'm getting tired. I'm going to lay down in the sun and go to sleep. She's just sitting over here. This is the red-colored female. Her little eyes are starting to droop. Nope, she's up. I'm going. Um, they will receive their nine-week shot if they are still here at nine weeks. And we still do their weekly baths and their toenail trimming and everything else if they're still here. So... I hope you've enjoyed their video. I'm not doing photos. These guys, I tried to do it this morning, and they're impossible to get them to sit on a table without almost sitting on top of them. So uh, we'll do videos from now on. And if you have any questions about anything, please feel free to give me a call. I don't mind at all, and I always answer my cell phone unless I have a client here. So have a good one, uh, a safe week. We'll see many of you pretty soon. Um, have a good one. Bye-bye.